All right, I'm 365 days of horsemanship, day 251. I am back. Um, it feels like night and day, to be honest, um, the difference. I really, um, I'm definitely, you know, riding the wave of excitement and energy and curiosity and motivation after returning um, from uh, Elsa's place. And uh, yeah, it's just amazing. Um, I was so excited to come yesterday. Um, it was really nice to get straight back into it with um, both Lawrence and Mia. Um, I tried to record, but, um, unfortunately my phone was really low on battery, so that was kind of annoying, but I'm really excited to film today. Um, I definitely want to, um, move into more, uh, of the videos, um, where you guys can really see what I'm actually getting up to, what I'm doing. Um, I just think I have such, I have such a clearer mindset on where I am now and like what I'm doing like I really feel like I have all the pieces now and I just need to practice putting them together over and over again in different ways um I think you know for the first time ever I feel like I really can say I understand how you train horses and you know and I've been I've been around for you know 10 years 10 years plus now in the horse world you know and I I think until this point, I don't think I would ever have really honestly said that I understand. I have bit, I had bits and pieces and I just feel like everything's just really come together for me, which is so amazing. Um, so I have really clear goals now, which is new. Um, that is really, really new for me um, with these really clear, specific, consistent steps that I'm going to be using to um, obtain my goals. So my first goal um, is for Lawrence. My goal with Lawrence is to help him build curiosity and good feelings. Um, so the main goal, the big goal, is um, being able to yield with good feelings. And I don't really mind where we start. I'm quite easygoing. I'm happy to start with the hind end, with the forehand, with the backup, whichever he feels is the one that he wants. Um, and I tried with the backup before and I got really task focused about it, um, as I really always like often did. Um, and I'm sure I will again. Um, and yeah, just kept driving him into fight and flight over it um, by holding that that position there, waiting for something to get better and it just always got worse. So we're kind of taking a little bit more of a freeform approach, which I think is going to be so much better. So my big goal um, is the yields. And my first step to the big goal is good feeling at the touching distance. Um, now with good feeling, what I'm looking for is that moment of curiosity. And it's been, it was really interesting yesterday to come back and realize how shut down he is compared to Elsa's horses who are all exceptionally curious, uh, because she trains them that way. And it was really a mind opener for me because I think that I spent a lot of time with him. I've spent a lot of time in flow with him. I've been very compromising with my flow. I've been very easy to flow with. I've allowed him to change my position. I've allowed him to, you know, make a lot of decisions. And what that's done is that's taken him from a place of concern into a place of comfort. What we've kind of skipped out is the curiosity, which is the piece that you really need if you want to train anything. Um, so that's been really interesting because I think, you know, there's sort of two options, really. There's there's always options. You, you know, you can always scale up or scale down the sort of leadership spectrum of how much pressure you want to put on your horse, dependent on how quickly you want an outcome and how directly you want to go about that outcome. And so for me, I've decided that I have two options. I can either go right back to my walking and I can do another 100 hours of walking where I'm looking for those focus changes um, and marking those. However, we've done quite a lot of walking and I know from that past experience that not very much changes. 
So I kind of want to, the first thing I kind of want to do is, is which I started yesterday, um, is, is increase the intensity of my supportive leadership a little bit. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about this when I film it. Um, but so basically I put a pattern in place where I'm partially at touching distance and partially walking. It was really interesting to see yesterday how things would stay at a level and then his stress would start to increase and I could see him start to look to problem solve. Um, and yesterday I think I did a relatively good job of being clear. I could have been more clear. I've definitely identified that that is something that is one of my um projects to work on is my clarity um i definitely find it really difficult to hold like mentally i find it really difficult to hold on to pressure to keep applying pressure um until i get the clear result that i want um but i understand now that in order to train better and to build trust i need to be more clear especially when i'm using less pressure it's really important to be really specific and clear um so yes yeah, so i'm really looking forward to carrying on with that today um i'll be interested to see how um how he's feeling today because it was quite a lot of pressure to put on him um rather than a day where i was just putting money in the bank but i realized that actually he was so shut down comparatively that i i felt like i just wanted to bring something a little extra i'm hoping that was a good choice and we'll see how he feels about it today um, and that will really feed into what i do today um with Mia um it was lovely to come back it was really nice to feel like I have a much more at Elsa's you know I really trained myself to have a little bit more of a herd focus um it's definitely one of my weaker focus points um and so coming back it was really nice to spend some time with Mia yesterday in the herd um and yeah just just recognize the relationships read everything a little bit better i felt like i was able to be more clear about that as well um and my goal with her um is to get on and get riding um and start practicing some of the techniques that elsa taught me while i was there um which are not uh freedom based um however uh i think as well that um I'm really ready to do 50-50 with her now. I think I've really, I've come so far in terms of my understanding of how the horse's brain works and how learning works and how associations work. And I feel so much more confident now that I know how and when to put on the pressure I would need to have that outcome. Um, and yeah, so basically I'm just kind of in a place where I want to play with everything, you know, I really want to play with everything. Um, and yeah, and that's really exciting for me. It's really exciting. I feel like I've got this like newfound confidence. Um, I'm really ready to help me feel better about some stuff. I feel like the techniques I'm going to use are really going to help her. And that's really the motivation where I feel like I'm like, okay, I, I feel good about this. I feel like there's a real purpose to this pressure that I think is going to be really, really great for her. And I think her life will be better as a result of it. And that is what makes me feel so comfortable in it, um, where I'm always the sort of person that wants low, low pressure, as low pressure as possible. So um, yeah, stay tuned, uh, because I definitely will be wanting to film some of this work um, and talk through with you all the actual like techniques and nitty gritty of the patterns that I've chosen to try to build these first associations and these first new cues.